we're catching things on a steal and also trying to scale back at the same time. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for clicking on today's video. I have another weekly grocery haul for y'all. Of course, we went to our salvage store. We got to in times like these, y'all. It is imperative right now. Walmart and Sam's Club pickup for the win, and we had something delivered to the house. So let me take you down to the counter and show you what we're stocking up on while saving. First up, you know the drill. We had to go to our local salvage store. A lot of y'all been asking what that is. It's basically a discount grocer. So any big chain like Walmart, any of your grocery stores that can't put things on the shelf because of damage or if they got in an accident per code, they have to send it to these discount grocers. It's in my benefit. I'm here for it. Everything you see here, I am like mind blow by today's haul. $45.82. It would have been triple if I would have bought this stuff in Walmart. I always check the Walmart and Target app to compare prices to make sure we're getting a good deal. Man, oh man, we freaking scored. So y'all know avocados have been freaking expensive. Y'all told me because of the nonsense going on over there. And I had heard about that. I had avocados in my Walmart cart for three, almost $4 for a small bag. And I got five of them for a buck. I mean, come on now. And these are going to be, you know, they're going to last for a while. I have to do my little hack. This one's ready to go. So they had a bunch of big ones that were ready to go. And I need this actually for tomorrow. So that works out perfect. So I got some to keep for a while and one that I can eat on the spot. The apples, can y'all even with this? So the Mott's bagged apples, three pound bagged apples for $1.79 for all three pounds. We thought we were getting a good deal with the other ones the past couple weeks. This was the freaking find. Golden Delicious is one of my favorites. I think the Cosmic Crisp is my new favorite. It's so freaking good. You've got to try a Cosmic Crisp apple, but Golden Delicious are good and they are huge and they are good. So I got two bags. I had a ton of these on the shelf, but obviously we can't go through that many. And I put these in the fridge to make them last longer as well. So that was a freaking score. Another score were the zero sugar sodas. They didn't have any of the Canada Dry that I love, but they had the A&W zero sugar root beer. I've never even tried this one, I think. A $1.99 for the package. And that's because y'all see they had to tape it up. There's nothing wrong with the freaking cans. I'm here for it. And then I've never tried just regular 7-Up Zero Sugar. I always like to get the cherry, but they never have them in the cans. And this one was also a buck 99. So those are the drinks that I got to save because y'all know it's like almost $6 for a 12 pack right now. I mean, the savings on this stuff is phenomenal, especially in times right now. And everything that I pick up, yes, there's things in the store that are out of date, but the things that I pick up are in date. They had this Nature's Valley granola, the protein oats and honey. I've seen everybody rant and rave about this one. I know it's way more than a buck 49. And this is in date, September 25th, 2022. It's 120 calories for 28 grams and five grams of protein, three fat. And I hear it's really delicious and yogurt. So I wanted to pick that up and give it a try, especially for the price and being that it was in date. Y'all see what I'm going to have for snack and for dessert the next few weeks. Um, the rice cakes, 99 cents. Again, and almost three dollars for these at Walmart insane and I can never find the caramel they're always out of stock I don't think I've even tried the caramel and I don't know but these are each 50 calories each I do like the apple cinnamon these are in date these don't expire until August of this year and these expire April 25th of next month so I'll go through those first got a little bit rice wasted I've been adding rice to dishes just to amp up the carb aspect where I am right now in my journey. And I also use this for the hubs meal prep as well. And the ready rice is my jam. I like the microwave rice. I mentioned this in a vlog recently that I hate cooking rice. I'm going to try cooking it in the instant pot because I got that big bag from Sam's Club, but this is just for convenience for meal prep. I actually looked at these at the Walmart app and I was going to use this for dinner the next couple of nights and all these are over $2 at Walmart. So I'm saving like 50 cents each, which is awesome. The Spanish style ready rice for a taco Tuesday night for a cup. It's 210 calories here for it. Got a couple of the jasmine rice for meal prep. These are 250, a little bit higher calorie for a cup. And then the brown rice, they had one package, which was 200 calories for a cup. So that was a score. Also a score, they only had the regular, but I'm fine with it. The bumblebee wild caught light tuna and water packages. They're 80 calories and 16 grams of protein. These don't expire until October 2023. These are all good until like November of this year. It's crazy. These are 75 cents a pack. I got six of them. 
them. They're over a dollar right now at Walmart. So that was, everything's a deal. I keep saying a score. I had Velveeta slices. Y'all know I'm a fan of Velveeta. Don't come for me. And I had slices in my cart because I'm going to use these on my anabolic breakfast sandwich. I have a video on that. We use fat-free cheese, but I'm going to have the extra 10 calories and make it even better with this. These are only 40 calories a slice. Your fat-free cheese is 30. And as far as protein, it's three and two fat and three carb. I'm here for it. Almost $3 for a 16 slice package at Walmart. I had it in my car, took it out. A buck 88. These do not expire until July 29th, 2022. So that is awesome. Also, we got some Genio turkey sausage. I like making that hash brown turkey sausage casserole. I've made that a million times. I got it off Pinterest. Love it. And I usually get the Good and Gather turkey sausage at Target. It's the same macros are similar. This is 90 calories for two ounces. And the ingredients are minimal, as you guys can see. The one at Target's almost $4. These were $2.18, already frozen. And they are in date as well. I forgot where the date is. There we go. March 3rd. And they're already frozen. So I'll keep them in the freezer. Got some tahini. I've seen everybody rant and rave about tahini saying how amazing it is. I've never tried it. I know where, what is my life? 50 cents for tahini. I didn't even look to see how much it was, but I know it's not 50 cents at Walmart and it was in date it expires June 20th, 2023. So we're going to use that for taco Tuesday. Waylon specifically requested mac and cheese and Waylon is the picky one. Now Trey used to be the picky one. Waylon is the picky one and he will not eat Velveeta shells and cheese. He won't eat anything, Annie's, nothing anymore. It's got to be the good old craft. And he specifically asked for some and we have none on hand. And this is like a shortage right now at my Walmart. Like they don't even sell these. They sell them in the big case for like $30. And even the great value comparable to this is more than $262. And this is in date as well. So we went ahead and got it August 10th, 2022. Last but not least, I got Ritz Bits peanut butter cracker wasted. These aren't as good as your Whole Foods and Trader Joe's version, no. However, my kids, my boys, including the hubby, my mother-in-law, they're obsessed with these. These are hard to find as well, and if you do find them, they are like almost $4 a box right now. So $1.61, August 8th, 2022, I will take it. I got six boxes, and they had plenty on the shelf. We could have got wasted. I refrain for six, so this will be like snack for them, and I may even give one to my mother-in-law because I know she loves them, and she's always on the hunt for them because, like I said, they're hard to find right now. So that is everything we got at our good old salvage store. Like, yes, indeed, stock in the pantry, getting things that we use on a regular, saving money where we can. $45, can y'all get over it? $28 Sam's Club online grocery pickup and $120 at Walmart. Like, the prices of things are outrageous like y'all refresh my memory on what prices used to be on some of these things because when i saw them on the app i had sticker shock for sure damn 120 dollars. we got nothing it's crazy i got some celery for a recipe green bell pepper red bell pepper for recipes y'all don't think i'm crazy but i don't think i've ever tried a kiwi in my life a real kiwi not like something flavored kiwi i don't think i've ever had a real one and they're so freaking low calorie, high volume. What the actual heck? So I could have gotten a big one at Sam's, but I only got these. They're 50 cents a piece to try them out first. Like, where have I been? I don't even know. Snow peas I got for a lunch recipe I'm going to be making along with the broccoli slaw. I love this one. It's the broccoli, carrots, and red cabbage. I like the power blend as well, but they never have it anymore. Womp womp. Got a bag of golden nugget mandarins. This is three pounds. They did not have any of the ones at Sam's Club, so that's why I got these. And everybody, including Trey, has been loving that. So that is a lower cost like fruit option for us. I've been trying to do the lower cost of fruits versus some of the things that we like, and they're like hella pricey right now. Speaking of, went up 10 cents, the French bread. I got this to make the pecan praline French toast casserole by Elise Ellis. That's on her Instagram feed, not in her monthly meal plan for next weekend. So I went ahead and got this ahead of time because I like it to be like stale and crusty. When you put it in the oven, it absorbs everything so well versus being fresh. I just like it like that. So we're going to let it sit and get crusty. Like these sweet whole rind rolls. However, it look, they like smash the hell out of them, but it'll be okay. I like these because they are 70 calories a roll. If you get the name brand they're 90 calories a roll yes we could do the chompies but they're way expensive off of nutrition's website and all so i'm trying to like pinch pennies where i can and honestly these taste better and the macros aren't much different so that's where we're going got a bunch of bananas everybody's loving them except for trey he's not a banana fan but everybody else is i've been getting a ton because it's cheap 
and it's good for you. Also grapes, we didn't get any last week. We went through them though early, so, and this is not a ton. We'll go through these really fast. Everybody loves those. Said again, a big bag of sweet potatoes at Sam's. I just got this three pound bag at Walmart. It was reasonably priced. We're not gonna be eating a bunch, so I don't want them to you know, go bad over time, but we will eat them, but I didn't wanna get a five pound bag if that's what I'm trying to say. I went ahead and got these break stones. This is the 2% milk fat cottage cheese. They're 100 calories for a little cup. Just to add some fruit to, or some American Dream nut butter. And as far as protein, it's 13 grams of protein. Good ingredients on these. I have as a snack something already pre-portioned up for convenience. Got a bunch of yogurt. We have some of the Chobani, the ones from Sam's Club left, not any vanilla ones. So I went ahead and got a four pack of the light Greek vanilla yogurt. These are the knockoffs to the Dan and Light and Fit. They are 80 calories a piece, protein, 13 grams. Substitution, the only substitution I had, I had the four pack of the peach and they gave me four blueberry, which is fine. The boys like the blueberry. I had six of the banana cream one in my cart. Waylon is obsessed with this one. They only had one and I didn't want it to be sub, so I just got one instead of six. And then I love, they don't make this in the great value version, but they still have this caramel apple pie one at my store anyway. I love this one and I love to dip apples in it. It is so fire, 80 calories and 12 grams of protein. You'll know we usually get, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, the brand, the pimento cheese that I always get tray. He's the one that eats this on top of broccoli with some type of homemade Lunchable. He loves him some pimento cheese. This is the, I've never seen this one before. So I just typed in pimento cheese and usually the other one's the only one that pops up. They had so many varieties and this one was half the cost of the one we've been buying and for more ounces, might I add. Mrs. Weaver's Family Pack Pimento Spread. The macros on it are way better than the other one too. It's 90 calories. The other one was 120 or 130. So we're gonna see if he likes that one. I hope so because it is way cheaper than what what we've been buying. That's some lunch meat. We got the Great Value Thin Sliced Black Forest Ham, and this is my favorite, the rotisserie seasoned chicken breast by Great Value. We're gonna be making Elise Ellis's Malibu sliders, chicken sliders. That is on her Instagram feed as well. So lots of freebies versus getting her meal plan. If you're interested, go and follow her. She's got great content on there for free. Needed some sliced Swiss cheese for a recipe. I'm gonna be making Lauren, my girl Lauren here on YouTube. Lois Lane, that's how I like to say it. Lois Lane, and she just made a blackened shrimp taco, street taco on her Instagram. We're doing this March Madness Munchies collab thing together over on IG. And I was like, I am so making that. That's what I got this cabbage for. I'm gonna add the Bold House dressing to it and make like a coleslaw and put it crunchy with the shrimp, blackened shrimp on the street tacos, the banderita ones we like so much. Fire and so low calorie. I am excited for it. So thank you, Lauren, for that idea. Y'all let me know, these used to not be $11, $11 for the freaking great value, fully cooked original turkey patties. Weren't these like seven and some change before? $11. I almost like flipped my lid when I saw that. I was like, what is going on? Also, there's like a chicken shortage by us. There's like no fresh chicken at Sam's Club. The tenders I've been buying, y'all been seeing, they're out. Even the frozen at Sam's, there's nothing. There's nothing. I don't know what's going on. So I was happy to get this because the ones from Target were us, everything. This is a five pound of the boneless, skinless chicken breast. The macros on these, you know, are good. They're not as good as some of the other ones. It's 110. I mean, it's not a big deal. I think the Target ones are 90. So I'll take it because if not, we ain't having no chicken. So that was the only thing available. Out of all the extracts at one time, it is a problem. I use these for the French toast casserole by Jack Perez here on YouTube and also also protein French toast, shout out to Greg Doucette. I like adding these. The cake batter is for my protein ice cream as well. I'm out of it. Strawberry extract and maple. These have went up in price, oh my gosh, like almost a dollar. It's insane. I needed some more of the G. Hughes sugar-free ketchup. We have just one in the fridge. I don't have a backup. The boys fly through it. This is one thing besides the turkey patties that I was like, what the actual hell? So I got the big mama jamma. This is the 23 ounce. The small one was $3 for the Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Wing Sauce. $3 for the small one. This one was $4.98. So I was like, well, for a buck 98 more, I might as well get this one. But $5 for freaking hot sauce? Oh, what is going on? Like, I can't. I can't anymore. Like, we're getting nothing. Like, y'all see, I'm, I, you know, I got 
come for last week by a couple of you about how we eat crappy. Does this look crappy? I mean, we've got a lot of like fresh vegetables and fruits and yogurts and proteins, but I mean, I mean, $120, like what the actual hell? I did get my Coke Zero Cherry Zero Free, all the things because that's a must every single week. And then I'm trying to preserve the nails because uh, they get ratchet quick because of the gym life, mom life, cleaning life. So I got these Oceder Playtex gloves and they were pretty cheap and they have like a drip catch cuff thing for when we're cleaning the nasty bathroom. So I thought that was good enough for $120. Wowzas. $28. I'm scaling it back. Like even the guy that brings out my groceries every week is the same guy. He's the sweetest thing on the planet. I love him to death and he comes out every week and brings me my stuff and he was like girl you were like scaling it back what's going on and we started talking about gas prices and everything and i mean it's just a thing right but he was like girl what, what's going on with you you're not ordering as much and you came on a thursday you came early i know i know but i love him he is so sweet 10 pounds of gold potatoes this was a better deal than buying them at wally world and we are going to go through a lot this week so i wanted to have them on hand strawberries are still a good price thank you jesus it's strawberry season down here in louisiana and these look beautiful i must add so excited for those we're out completely of blueberries we made the other one stretch because all this stuff is pricey right so i'm making it stretch when can and not buying things that we absolutely don't need or don't have on hand we are out of blueberries i like i was gonna get frozen because they're way cheaper but i just like the texture i know trey come on i like the texture of fresh blueberries versus frozen depending on what i have it in and then the elephant in the room i mean talking about things that aren't good for us these are the cheese it snapped you get 21 of the cheddar sour cream and 21 of the double cheese such a good price versus walmart 42 pouches dang and y'all the macros 100 calories a package so i got these because we're out of like chippy stuff really to pack for the boys lunch and for the hubby mainly and i got these for him can i have these yes will you see me partaking in these often no all right to answer some questions from last week's video i do have a family after all it's not just me and i'm not putting them on strict diets they are six and nine Come on now people be realistic quit coming for your girl because your girls will be coming back 120 dollars, 28 dollars. salvage store this is the week we're trying to scale things back. Times are Not included in that $120 from Walmart is this great value. This is a knockoff to gain ultimate fresh clean in the original clean scent. I got this shipped to the house because they had none of their great value laundry detergent in store. I know weird. And I'm switching over from Sam's Club, seeing if we like this one a little bit better. Saint, what are you trying to tell them? What are you trying to say? I'm trying to talk about detergent here, son. Things are important. Besides your little bark, mister. He just had to That's see That's gonna them. do it for this week's grocery haul. Please give it a huge thumbs up. If you look forward to these grocery hauls every single week here on my channel, I have the meal plan in a pinned comment and in the description box down below if you wanna see what we are going to be munching on this week. I will have another grocery haul per usual next week from all the same places. I hope y'all are stocking up. I hope you guys are saving at the same time and doing well and we'll see y'all in next week's grocery haul. Thanks so much for watching. See you then, bye.